Hi everyone, I'm Rue, and I will help you build your vocabulary words, love for reading, and text understanding. Before we proceed to our reading story, I want you to look at these pictures. Trees, bushes, lawn, path, plants and flowers. Flower bed, pond, patio, and greenhouse. Where can we see these pictures? Great! We can see these things in a garden. Does this mean that our topic is all about garden? Yes, you're correct! But before... Before we proceed to our topic, I want you to look at our vocabulary words. Number one, foliage. 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 Leaves on a tree or a plant. We can see green, yellow, and light green leaves. So these are foliage. Relish, 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 relish to enjoy or appreciate. If someone gives you a bucket of chicken joys, then you're going to enjoy eating chicken joys, right? And you're going to appreciate the effort of that person. And that is what we call relish. Third one, honeysuckle. 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 Honeysuckle, a climbing plant that has many tiny flowers. Fourth one, tangy. 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 Having a pleasantly sharp taste. Have you tasted the shake? Mmm, how about a shape that is made from kiwi, grape, and apple? If you're going to taste that shake, you're going to feel a tangy flavor. Fifth one, imprint. 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 Imprint, a mark made by pressing into something. The story that we are going to read is entitled, the Garden by Anita Nata Amin. Let's read! The garden in my backyard hummed with the songs of summer twilight. Crickets hiding under lush green foliage chirped around me. Bumblebees buzzed along thick honeysuckle vines bordering the back of the garden. Maple tree leaves rustled in the soft evening breeze. The setting sun cast shadows on the patches of red clay between the rows of green plants. There were plants of all sizes, tall, short, thick, thin, and climbing. Some plants had flowers.
others bowed with plump red tomatoes, long green beans, shiny chili peppers, or round purple eggplants. On the far left, a watermelon patch sprawled out. Leaves glistened from a recent watering. In the front right corner, clumps of spiky grass poked from the ground. I pulled one clump and unearthed a small orange carrot. Brushing the dumb dirt off, I tossed it into my basket. Squelch, squelch! My shoes left imprints in the red clay as I moved further back into the garden. Swatting a mosquito away, my arm brushed against the wet leaves of a tomato plant taller than my knees. I bent down to pluck a slippery ripe cherry tomato and bit into it. Sweet tangy juice oozed out and warmed my tongue. Plunk! Two handful of tomatoes joined the lonely carrot in my basket. Past the tomatoes, a small Kerala patch spread across the ground. My hand covered one of the hard oval bumpy green Indian squashes. Although too bitter for me, my mom and dad would relish it. Snip! I cut a few from the vine with my scissors. To my right, a Loki vine climbed so high and thick I couldn't see through the metal link fence uncovered. Light green Indian squashes, the size of baseball bats, hung from the vine. They were too heavy for me to carry, so I left them there. I moved to my left to a small bare mound between the Kerala patch and green bean plants.
The clay was freshly packed. Yesterday, I had secretly planted a peach pit hoping a tree full of juicy peaches would grow. Walking next to the honeysuckle vines, I continued to the left. Delicate white buds dotted glossy dark green leaves against a wooden fence. The sweet smell of honeysuckle was intoxicating, but I didn't get too close. I didn't want a bee steam. In front of me, most of the chili peppers were still green, but a few had aged to carnation red. I reached for a red pepper the size of my index finger. My hand tingled from its spicy heat. I quickly dropped it in my basket. A red ladybug sat on a dewy green bean leaf. I snapped a handful of smooth green beans from the fragile plant. Water droplets sprayed my arm. The ladybug fluttered away. It was time for me to leave too. I ran out of the garden and back to my house where mom would cook our garden dinner. Let's do a comprehension check. Number one, which of the following vegetables didn't the boy put in his basket? Which of the following vegetables didn't the boy put in his basket? Two, what kind of soil is found in this garden? What kind of soil is found in this garden? Third one, did you have a garden during this pandemic like the boy in the story? Could you describe it? Did you have a garden during this pandemic like the boy in the story? Could you describe it? Great! You finish our week 3 reading activity.